Hi. You're joining Karen from telecrafts.co.uk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK. Right, today I'm bringing you a one sheet wonder, but it's a, a 6 by 12 one sheet wonder. And I'm going to show you how I made these cards. I'm not actually putting them all together properly, but I'm going to show you how to cut the paper. And I'll talk you through what I did. The reason being, this is a sixth attempt at me trying to do this for some unknown reason. It doesn't seem to uh, like me very much today, all this IT. Um, apologies for the light. I can't. It's it's late at night and I'm doing my best, so I'll just bear with me. Right. This is the uh, template. Um, don't worry about writing it down because it will be all on my blog with all the sizes. But it's basically you get uh, seven cards out of this or eight, depending if you want to cut this one up as well, like I've done that one. But I chose not to on these ones. Right, let's get started. <clears throat> For these sets of cards, I've used the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper and the stamp set that goes with it, the lovely Lily pad. This was in celebration, um, but I've got that much paper, I did want to use it up. So let's get started. I don't know if you can see that all right. Hopefully, you can see that all right. So, this is a sheet of 6x12. Um, I got a lot of mine are like this because uh, I take part in paper shares where you get um, a portion of all the papers that are in the catalogue and then if I really like them I will buy them. So the first cut you're making is three inches and then you turn it round and cut it at three inches again. So that's your first two cards. <sighs> The next one you're cutting at is, just let me check my measurements before I cut it wrong, is three and a quarter. Right, that's one. And, oh, I've got it out. See, I've done it wrong already. It should be three and a half and three and three quarters, but not to worry. This one will be three and a half. I know I'd make a mistake. And this one should be one and three quarters. So I'll just trim that bit off there. It is right on the actual ones. But like I said, I've just cut this up so many times now. So the little one is an inch and a half. So you want four of those. It's an inch and a half. So that makes another card. And on these two, you do want to cut an inch off the bottom. And that makes another card. And then these two, the bigger one of the two, you put it on diagonal so that you can see it in your grooves like that. And then you just cut down and that gives you two cards. And if you've got a directional paper, then you remember this one will go at the top of a card and that one at the bottom. And this one, this is where your seven or eight come from. Um, if you want eight cards, then you can either cut it down or cut it this way. Or I prefer it, I like it as a whole panel on my cards. Now these two, you will have one at three and three quarters and one at three and a half. So you need to cut this one down to three and a half. So out the whole paper, you get that little bit much wastage. Right. Bear with me. I've got some already cut anyway, but I'll bring those in. 
So these ones, I didn't make any mistakes on. So you've got your two three inches square. You've got this is three and three quarters by five, and that's three and a half by five. Then you've got your two pieces which are three and a half by an inch and I cut the quarter of an inch off there and then your remaining card is your four little squares like that. This is how many times I've done it today. <laughs> well, I hope you're all keeping safe and well with all this climate and this COVID that's going on at the moment and staying safe. Right. Now, so originally... I made these to show you and this is what cut out on mine um, and this is the paper I've just shown you now and these <coughs> I use the lovely lily pad stamp set and because in this paper there's flirty flamingo in the paper so I did two in flirty flamingo, three in coastal cabana Where's the other one? There it is. And two in Bermuda Bay. And for the stamp sets I use for those ones, I use the greeting out of positive thoughts, sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. And the other one is beautifully braided because I did a mix of sentiments. And kindness comes in many ways, but always from the heart. So those are the ones I used on the other ones. <laughs> and the ones that I've just made you, these I did, I changed it from Whisper Wipe to Very Vanilla. Um, and I used the gorgeous grape paper out of the set. And I teamed it up with the lovely lipstick ribbon. So... There's two of them. I'm going to show you how to do this bit of the of the um, of the stamping because it's um, a strange stamp. I've not used this sort of stamp before. Um, but on these, you can see I've just wrapped the ribbon round. Um, added this, they've all got the same sentiment because I do need a lot of thank you cards at the minute, and I used it from the flourishing phrases. Thank you so very much. Um, this is the full sheet one I did and I had some thicker lovely lipstick ribbon which I did on there. This is the one with the four squares. This one I have actually raised up a little bit on dimensionals just to stand it up a little bit. Um, all these are set on dimensionals and I got the circles from... Let me check if I've got the right one. Um, it was from the two inch circle punch and the starburst circle punch, which is two and an eighth, to cut them all out. And <clears throat> this was the two little pieces that I cut down to the right size. And this is the one that goes with the other one. <clears throat> so, because it's directional, I've sat it at the top of the card as opposed to the bottom of the card. But if you've got. Um, paper that doesn't matter which direction it goes in um you can do some like that and have them going down um i did some of those on the other cards i think no it wasn't them it was another set of cards i did um so let me just show you how i did that i would have done it all with you but i didn't want it cutting out again we can find some paper. <clears> this <throat> is just a scrap bit of paper. Um, and all I did for these was I've got the stamp. I inked it up in gorgeous grape. I just stamped on there. Then I cleaned my stamp off. And then you peel it off, pop 
pop it down as you turn it over no it's not the right way that way see it the image you just stamped with becomes the base and the base is going to fill that in but if we filled it in straight away like that it would be way too dark as you can see so what you do is you stamp off and then if you just pop it over and it gives that lighter shade um, you can stamp it off once or twice depending on the depth you want but I quite like that the other one is the leaf and it works exactly the same way oh I'm doing it in gorgeous great that'll be no good will it So these were all in gorgeous grape and the leaves were in granny apple green. So exactly the same is you just stamp it, clean it off and then stamp it back on and this is exactly the same, stamp it off once and then just go over and because it's the photopolymer you can actually see where you're doing it to line it up it comes outside the edges but it just gives that like watercolored look and in here you've got the the little bud the big bud the massive big flower i've done some with this big flower before and the lily pads and these shades means that they're double sided so all these work back to front so you can get more depth into your colour. Um, I didn't stop there because I like a bit of bling and a bit of sparkle. So I just took my Winker Stella, gave it a little squeeze and I just coloured it in and it gives another little tone to it. So I just did that with those. And then when it dries, it gives a lovely sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see that in the light at the moment. And I apologise if it's a little bit dark. It's because I'm doing it at night. And I've not got my lighting sorted out. I did have it sorted out. And then it's all gone awry. So apologies for that. So that's how I did my flower. And then like I said, I stamped them all out. I used this lovely lipstick ribbon because it's dead small and i really like it but i ran out i'm waiting for a delivery to come um so the only other thing i put on these or i will be putting on these is some of these gorgeous glitter enamel dots and i really like these i've got some more on order so i'm waiting for those to come so like on some of them i went with the purple and i just put three on I did get this idea, I don't know if I said at the beginning, um, from Halsey from slimandstylish.com. She did, um, like I say, the, the tutorial with us um, on a 12 sheet wonder. So this is where it's all come from, thinking, oh, what can I do? Because I've got like smaller sheets and that. I put those on there because I think they look quite nice too, depending on what's ones I want but I've not got many left <laughs> or I said I've probably gone more red and what red it's like melon mambo then um, gorgeous grape but I will have to use these gorgeous grape ones up just gives that little bit extra to them And on this one, I'm just going to put these at the bottom, I think. But these are my new favourites at the moment. Just enough left. that one and on this one I think I'm going to just put one on it there we go anyway and that's my cards um, 
on the, the very first lot I made, if I can find them, here they are. I've not done that with these yet. These were more, um, I did have some thank you in here. Um, and I just, I just put a strip of the paper down um, and stamped the flower again inside on that. This one was a happy birthday one and I've done basically the same in every one. Um, just maybe change the sentiment up and change them round. Yeah. And then I had a couple of, that's the same, uh, congratulations. These I left blank because I don't know what I'm congratulating anybody about at the moment. But I don't know. I will be congratulating some people soon, I think. Um, there's that one there as well. And these two. So even though I've had loads of problems with my recording today, I just don't know what was up on my phone. I don't know if I've read enough storage. But I've ended up making... All these lovely cards to give out to people and, and these ones here with the sending positive thoughts <clears throat> or kindness comes in many ways um these are going out to people that i know are at home that have been self-isolating or friends i haven't seen for a while i think it's always nice to put a smile on somebody's face um anyway thank you and i'm sorry if it is a bit dark i have done another video because like I said I must have done about six videos um, because it wasn't recording so I have got another video that says part two and this shows these in more detail um, and it goes over what I've used on them so if you do want to have a look at that please feel free to do so I did actually I've, I've recorded the front of the first bit of this twice one was no good and the other one wasn't too bad. I went to edit it and somehow I managed to delete it. So I have no idea what I've done. So like I say, this is about the sixth attempt at doing it. Um, I hope that's all right for you. Um, better luck next time for me, eh? But thank you very much. Um, it will be going out when you see this. It will be Thursday, I think. Um, but I, like I say, I'll put all the measurements on my blog um so hop along over to there uh, so that you can see everything um i don't think i said but the um the the squares uh the backing layer that I did is also in gorgeous great and it's it's a quarter of an inch more than these sizes but i will put the actual sizes on so like this was three inch square so I've done three and a quarter inch square and I've done that the same on all of these. I've just gone up quarter of an inch because it gives that nice little bit of a border on it. Um, thank you all for joining me. Um, stay safe, stay in if you can and if you're going out to work, please be careful um, and hopefully I'll be back with you again soon. Thank you all. Bye.